Hello everyone, my name is Silocat, and it's time to play some more Myst. This is the second episode in the series, with several more to come, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you can stay up to date with the latest content. I also live stream other Let's Play content on Tuesdays and Thursdays on Twitch at 10pm, and I host a Jackbox party night every Thursday evening at 8.30. All times are US Central Standard. Last episode, we explored the main Mist Island and started unlocking its secrets, and ultimately left the island for a new world, Channelwood. Now, it's time to play Mist. Alright, welcome back. So, here we are in Channelwood, and as you can see, it is a very nice, beautiful layout. Lots of trees, and you of course are in some sort of water. Let's just say it's a channel, and of course the trees are wood. You got a little bit of puzzly stuff here, so you got a... Uh, valve that you can look at. We have a pipe that kind of dead ends. You see we've got a what looks like an elevator here. Here's a little generator. And we can tell, we can get in here, the elevator doesn't work so we know we have to do something with that. Uh, obviously, it's going to be something to do with these, so we're going to set these up right now, just so it kind of makes sense. We're going to direct everything towards that elevator. Okay, and we're just going to follow this pipe back and try to find its source. Alright. Little bit of thing right here. I'm not really sure what this ever did, but it's fun to click. And now we have our source. Click on this guy all you want, nothing really happens, hold it down, nothing changes, so, alright, let's go back, you can hear that nice running water, I think this is an awesome time for everybody, take a potty break, cause you know you gotta, and water's gonna be kind of like our power source here, let me look here, see it says it's going to the left now, I'm going to go ahead and follow this out this way so you can see kind of where it goes. Okay, well that's obviously wrong. Let's go the other way. Okay, here's your first inkling of a uh, generator or something that you can click that's powered by water. Now we have a lovely little bridge. Okay. All right, we're going to divert this water back towards our little elevator. And this obviously will take us up to the uh, top of the trees. Oh, 
safety first. Gotta shut the door. Alright, so if you remember our books where it mentions Channelwood, it actually has a map of all of these uh, little huts that they have in the trees. Uh, and if you were smart and you wrote it down, you will go ahead and follow that map right now. Um, I'm just going to click around and we're going to see a little bit of what's going on. You can see the, uh, the place is obviously abandoned. second while I get reoriented here. And kind of travel around the tops of these trees. It's actually quite a beautiful scene. It's a really neat idea. abandoned huts and I just realized I think I'm lost so despite drawing a map um, I'm really not sure where I am now okay can't go that way Ah, let's come over here. Ah, okay, okay. So, at the beginning, you notice that there was a uh, area we haven't quite explored. It had a little spiral uh, staircase on it. And then here's another elevator. Of course, we don't have power to it yet, so nothing happens. Um, so you got the, the door here, and it's barred, it's locked, we can't get through it. No matter what you do, nothing happens right now. So we're going to have to explore a little bit and see if we can find the switch to open it. So one of the things that the uh, Real Ma Mist Masterpiece Edition gives you is the environments. You actually have a day and night time. And as we see this area get darker, we'll probably have to turn on our flashlight so we can start seeing some of the items. thoroughly lost here although I think I'm actually heading back towards where we started so if we get to that point I'm gonna go ahead and go back down the elevator and we'll uh, explore a little bit on the bottom on the ground level and then we will come back up here and try to do a little bit more All right, here we are. You got one little area over here. It's a dead end. Nothing really to note. 
then up here and to the right is going to be the way back down. Okay, let me just note this on the map. It's not terribly obvious by the pictures, but the, uh, the map that I drew or that I copied from the book kind of gives us an idea of where this is. It's a triangle-shaped platform. Close the door. All right, let's go. Okay, so if you remember, we opened up that little bridge area. Um, we will actually, before we do that, I'm going to point out where that uh, spiral staircase is, just so everyone knows. And you see it right there. You can also see the door shut. Um, and then here in the foreground is the uh, the generator that's going to be used for the elevator. Okay, so we're going to explore that other area where we opened up that bridge. Just to show you what's all down that area, or down that way. Okay, you can see we have yet another elevator that we can take. And another generator. Of course, again, no water, no power. So remember that little dead end with the pipe? Here we are. We have an extend a pipe. Alright. Now we're making our way back to where the water would normally flow. We're going to go ahead and explore that area just to show you what it is. Okay. See, I used my flashlight there to light up the ground. And now you can see in the distance, we're, we're putting water to the right area. We are powering that elevator in the distance. And we're going to go ahead and run back to that area. Actually, I'll show you this. So this is where we started, I believe, and it's just a dead end. And you can see that the uh, if we put water to here, it does nothing but exit. This is like pipe dream for dummies. Alright, and there's another area back off to the left that does the same thing. It just dumps the water straight back into the uh, into the water. Alright, here's our elevator. Whoops, I missed the door. <laughs> Whoops, is okay. Really? Come on. This is the downfall of the uh, point and click genre games. Let's go up. What will we find? This is the exit. So, this is how we get back to the main Mist Island. But obviously, um, 
since we haven't done much as far as the uh, puzzle solving aspects, we aren't going to deal with that right now. Uh, just know it's here. We'll get here. We'll come back here. Alright, close the door. Now we can go. So now our goal is to figure out how to get power up to that other elevator in the second, in that uh, intermediary area, the one next to the spiral staircase. First, let's go ahead and reestablish our power. Uh, by the way, here's here's that one area you can see water just goes into the water, or the pipe goes down into the water. Um, I suppose if there was something like under the water to power, that could be really cool, but um, it's just not in this one. So, uh, because it's starting to get dark, I'm going to go ahead and leave the uh, flashlight on. Um, we're going to go restore power to the elevator, get us up to that second level. Alright, and by the, uh, we're going to explore a little bit, and by the miracle of movie magic, we will probably cut out all of the exploring until I can find the switch. Just so I can show you guys what to do. Um, let me consult the map. Okay, I think it's going to be this way. This way? No, this way. don't see anything in here. Okay. Let's do some more exploring. Okay. Uh, so I'm back here. So I finally found it. I finally found a way to get up to this thing. There's a uh, switch in one of the areas that passed over it probably three or four times. Um, and you pull it and it opens up the door. Uh, I went ahead, went down the spiral, I reconnected the pipe to go ahead and give us power, and now we are ready to go. Um, we are in the third level, and we're exploring up here. Now, oh, come on. I could see there was a door. Okay, that's not the door I want. Ah, here we are. So we got a door. So, kind of... Creepy. Okay. Little mask. Spiky, torture-y looking thing. Some candles. Ritualistic sacrifice? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, yep, yep. Definitely a sacrifice area. Uh, don't know what you put there. Um, I wouldn't sit there. out. So we got this little cabin. Hey look, there's a uh, buttons. Oh look, that was a blue page. Okay, 
Okay, same to you. Your mother was a hamster. And your father smelt of elderberries. I hope I push the right button. Very interesting device. I'm not racing anything important, am I? <laughs> he is preparing. Remember, take only one page. Okay, well, there's this blue page. I think I will take that. All right, let's see what we can do with the blue page. Okay, we'll explore a little bit more while we're up here. Still don't know what this is for. Okay. Alright, fast travel! Come on! Uh, no, we're not gonna go down yet. Let's explore to this side. Interesting. Door. Wow, this is a big difference from the other room. Desk. Can we do anything with the desk? What's it? Oh, well, somehow I ended up with a red page now. That's interesting. Okay, so we've got a red page instead. Let's go ahead and go and check the other drawers. Doesn't look like there's anything interesting. Okay, so now we know where to get the blue page, and now we're holding the red page. Let's go ahead and turn in the red page. Do this, we'll have to go out the exit. Come on. So this is one of the downfalls of Mist is the uh, the click interface is just really wonky and it's too easy to travel. But if you can get past that, or if you want to try out the uh, the uh, modernized navigation in the Real Mist uh, Masterpiece Edition, that makes a big difference. Okay, let's go. to find the red book. It's not going to be there. Oh, here we are. Return. Thank you for bringing the red Okay. So this looks like the, uh, you must that one brother. <laughs> this is serious. Okay. Still kind of staticky. really understand them very well. So, tell you what, why don't we just head on out. Awesome. Alright, so now we're back. We got our blue page. Let's go and turn this sucker in. Hey, look, there's the blue book. You returned. You wouldn't pretend. Hey, just rescue me. Okay. So, kind of the same message. Yada, 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 thank you. Blah, blah, blah. My brother, I beg you. Still static. Okay.
So, the last time we were here, I kind of got caught in uh, the tree, and that's what kind of drove us towards Channelwood. Um, we left one puzzle undone, and that was the bunker puzzle with uh, the rocket ship for 59 volts. So, we're going to go ahead and take care of that now. So each one of these buttons raises the uh, the volts just a little bit um, by different amounts, which makes this a challenge. Um, you do not want to go over, otherwise you have issues. Um, so it's kind of a cautious trial and error to make sure you get everything right. So probably the big thing here is figure out what buttons raise the most and click them on first and then go and click the one you know figure out which ones do smaller increments click them on last okay so we're at 55 I know we got to be careful uh, okay that was lucky 53 well, that's a lot wow okay so big differences 57 Hey, we're at 59. Okay, so um, magic number. Let's go. Let's go ahead and run to the rocket ship. Once again, it's becoming dark here. It's nice. Nice little apparatus. And hey, here's the keyboard. We have a keyboard in our notes. So just cycling through some of them. So let's look at this. Okay, so the, each one of those do a sound, and we have a list of sounds. So let's start with the lowest one. Just We know that one's number five. So let's set that one first. Great, matches. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, got that tone. Got two tones now, so let's go ahead and pull those in and actually okay and one of these is an octave higher right okay and my music ear here kicking in Awesome music, awesome sound, and here we are. Well, this concludes this episode. We have finished doing Channel Wood. We have gone back, we have unlocked the rocket, and I think next time we will explore the Stone Ship Age. Until next time, have a great day. Yeah.